What's going on YouTube? I'm Wayne and this is Wayne's Fish World. Today I'm going to stay behind scenes because I really kind of lost track of time and I'm putting a video together that goes up live on YouTube in about 12 hours. So yeah, I'm running behind schedule and I didn't bring you guys a video last week. So I need to do something now. So my apologies guys. Last week I wanted to show you my 125 gallon but it was cloudy still. I wanted to do the same thing this week. It's still cloudy. Now that I'm editing this video, the tank is finally cleared up. And early this week when I was off, I was thinking about what I wanted to do. This 55 gallon used to hold my Joaquin Goldfish and it's been bare for a long time. So when cleaning the fish room up, I was looking around at my scrap, mater scrap materials and I was thinking to myself, what do I want to do? And it dawned on me, let's show the viewers that you can create an aquascape with scrap materials and not spending a lot of money. Or they can go out and find materials in the wild and make sure they're not going to harm your aquarium inhabitants or alter the water parameters in an incorrect way. But they can still go out there and get material out of the wild themselves or use what they've got laying around in their fish room and build an aquascape based on that. So this boulder right here is one of the main hardscape pieces in the aquarium. I'm going to add more pieces, but this boulder is left over from the 75 gallon African cichlid tank that I haven't shown you guys yet and I will in the future. This wood right here I've used in different scapes in the past. It's got tons of character and it's going to make the fish that I put in this aquarium feel right at home. For substrate I'm using things once again that I had laying around. These bags of substrate have been laying in my fish room shelf for over a year now. It's time to put them to use. As you guys can see, I didn't even fully clean out this aquarium. I basically took it off its stand and put it back on there. Removed most of the substrate while I was on the ground to make it easier so I wouldn't have to climb on a ladder and keep scooping out pool filter sand with my hand. That got old real quick. So I thought about a couple different substrates for this aquarium. I even thought about dirt. And then I thought about using sands from the beaches and rivers that are nearby where I live. But I said to myself, that's gonna alter the pH. I can't do that. Let's keep it to the point where we're not going out and doing more than we have to. Let's utilize what we have laying around. And luckily I had about three quarters of a bag of pool filter sand laying around. So we're not going to spend five hours dumping it in slowly and painting it out with the brush. We're going to open that bag up and slap it in the tank, climb on a ladder and basically spread it around with our hands. We're going for a natural look ADA style aquascapes look great but they don't look natural so we're going for a amazon biotope look to a extent and i want it to look like it was we walked up in nature and we saw this little site underwater and that's what we found and you don't see good looking aquascapes like that in nature as far as the substrate goes it was enough to house beneficial bacteria that's gonna colonize and support the bio load in this tank but it's not enough to support the root system of, of the plants that I want to put in this tank. So I'm thinking about Crypt Flamingo and Rotala Wallachai and Alternanthia Reniki Mini in this system. Not 100% proof on, not 100% on that yet. But putting the boulder in here was the most stressful thing. It was short-lived, but the thing was heavier than it looks, and climbing on a ladder and putting it in a narrow tank was not exactly easy. The wood used in this tank is, I've used this stuff in other scapes and I've got it in my 125 gallon in the past and as well as now. And I've got it in my 20 gallon beta tank. But this stuff is like a magnolia bush. It grows native to Virginia. Uh, it grows around ponds wherever the water is, I mean the soil is saturated. It blooms pink flowers in the summer times. It can get quite tall. Um, this the pieces I use for my aquarium when I gather in the wild, I basically take the dead material on the bushes. That way I'm removing the dead stuff from the plants. That way new growth can happen and the stuff that I'm putting in my system has already been weathered by the seasons and it's less of a break in time, less tannins, and takes less time to sink. So now we got some of the hardscape in here. I'm basically taking some of that gravel that I had laying around and I'm putting the bigger stuff in first around the rocks and kind of spreading it out. We're not getting fancy with it. We're kind of making it look like it fell in. And after that, I took the smaller grades of sand and sprinkled that in to make it look like it's eroding. So if you guys are filling your aquarium, quick tip, put a bowl or a plate down. That way it doesn't disrupt your substrate. But we are getting ghetto, my friend. We ain't got time for that. So I got that boulder, I'm gonna utilize it. 
I'm gonna utilize what I have. And that right there looks awesome. It just makes me want to set up like a, a polydarium or a vivarium or something and like have immersed plants and maybe like some frogs and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Maybe something I need to get into my channel, but not right now. Tell me what you guys think about that. Um, the tank, <laughs> I'm using a desk lamp to clamp my water hose. That's how ghetto we're getting. But for the most part, I fill this tank up a little bit, and then I also have a 29-gallon uh, quarantine tank. I drained that tank, and I filled up the remaining amount of this aquarium with that water that has been established for quite some time. For filtration, no question. We're going to Aquascape fit, Aquion 5575 hang on the back filter for a couple reasons. One, it, it pushes out 400 gallons an hour, plenty of water flow. That's the main thing. And also, it's a great mechanical filter. The main filtration in this aquarium is going to be the substrate, and that goes hand in hand with the water flow in the system. I've done plenty of videos on that in the past. You guys can go check them out. Uh, water flow is a key, either it be fresh water or salt water. And the other sources of filtration is that this tank is going to be heavily planted with uh, a lot of plants such as Crypt Flamingo, Rotawa Wild Chai, Altonanthia Reniki Mini, and the fact that this tank is going to be getting a lot of water changes. Also, I've already picked out some of the fish that's going to be going in this tank, so it's time to take a trip to the local fish store in the middle of nowhere in Warsaw, Virginia, and that is Gordon's Pet Store right off 360 in Warsaw, Virginia. If you guys were ever in the area, I highly suggest you guys check them out. Great staff, family oriented and family owned. I decided to start this tank off with a school of Serpe Tetris. Back in the day, my 125 gallon was rocking and rolling. I had a school of about 50 of them. And I plan on putting about 50 Serpe Tetris in this uh, 55 gallon aquarium. This is gonna be the main schooling fish. I thought about rummy noses and cardinals or neons and that might still happen if I want to move these serpes they'll probably go on my 125 that I'm setting back up but the reason I chose serpes is for a couple different reasons they're very hardy fish they're my favorite tetra and the fact that they get these vibrant deep rich colors if they're housed and fed properly you really can't go wrong with them they're a tetra but they're on the bigger side so your bigger fish don't really bother them so they're going to complement very well what I want to put in this tank. I'm thinking electric blue Akaras, electric blue Rams, or electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Jack Dempsey's are kind of big for a 55 gallon. Let me know what you guys think on that. So the tank is slowly coming together. You can see there's a couple pieces of driftwood that floated up. I'll sink them down later with a rock or something. Tank's getting cloudy, but hey, it's a brand new system. Didn't even wash the gravel or sand that went into it. So if you guys want to see future updates of this tank and the fish and plants are going to go into it and improve lighting system, definitely subscribe and hit that like button, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Next week, catch up with me in the 125 gallon.